Hello guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In earlier demo, we have seen how to create build pipeline and we created this build pipeline using classic editor where we have few steps for building the .NET solution. Then we had created release pipeline to deployment purpose using classic editor. And in this demo, we are going to create build pipeline using YML. And next demo, we are going to update that YML pipeline with release steps also. So let's go ahead and create a YML based pipeline. So for creation of YML based pipeline, we have multiple place. If we go into pipeline, then we have this option called new pipeline. If we click that, then we see the option where we can select the repo and then we can select which type of pipeline it will you want to create. It will give a minimal pipeline, a starter pipeline that hey, these are the step. And if we go ahead and click on that YML schema reference, we can see more details that how steps look like in pipeline stage A, job and job two will come step stage B. Multiple stages can have happen, multiple jobs so in one stage can happen. And then if we see that what are the trigger point of view that it will be trigger type none or trigger type or continuous trigger and other things which based on PR request or say if you wanted to put schedule based for nightly builds and other things that also we can have lot of different settings which we have we will see slowly on that part so this is one way to do that one and if you notice this pipeline uh, same thing trigger and pool and steps are coming in minimal version of pipeline the another way we can go to repo section where i have this repo in user branch where i can go ahead and click on the setup build and then we can select options and we can go with that Third way can happen that we can create a file from this place new file and we can have a YML file and we can have code or we can go from Visual Studio code or Visual Studio and create YML based pipeline because it is all code right. So for this demo I am going to select from setup build from repository section and file section so I am going to select that one. And I'm going to take that starter pipeline, then I will change that one. If we see that one, trigger is my branch, user branch. And let's try to update that one. Then I'm going to put the pool name, which is configured. And we can go ahead and see that what kind of pool which we have. So we can see agent pool is pipeline. We are going to use Windows latest. All this we can see. And we can also view YML from going inside that one. This is the YML generated in classic editor. These are the tasks. We can copy that one and use that one. So that is another way which we can leverage that one. Or if you want to have YML for specific steps, we can get that YML from that one to use that inside this code. If you do not want to write that one or we have an option to show assistant then we can pick whatever we want to do so in this section let's put the first that hey we wanted to have a stage and because in currently we are going to use only one stage and in later we are going to have cd part also deployment part so let's have that right now jobs and ci works and other things so that is the basic thing i'm going to put right now here uh, with skeleton so this is what right now it looks like now we can go and say that hey i want to add nuget install um, task right so this is nuget install where i can go and say that hey i want to add 6.1.0 then i can go ahead and add that one so it will add the task and what is the input additional parameter also we can add like if we wanted to add a so display name that how display will look like then we can add that display name or say that in display name that install nuget right this is kind of display name we can have now the second task which we can have and which was we were using inside this build nuget restore so i can go ahead and say that hey i want to restore my nuget and this is what all the details looks like and in advanced section all this if you wanted to change anything you can do that and and we have to take care of this uh, 
tabbing so tabbing is necessary to put into correct order so now i can go and say for display name i want to have that restore no gate and then i can go for third one which was our build solution and we were doing with the build with visual studio i can go ahead and see that one in build solution we've had some build argument also we can copy that one and put that and in build argument we were using build dot uh, artifact staging directory which is one variable and if you wanted to know about variable we can go ahead and see that which kind of variable are there there are some user defined variable there are some system variable predefined variable which we are using right now but we will see that later how to add variable which is required in platform and other things we can have which platform we want to build and so we can have any cpu or what configuration so release configuration we want to build and then we can put that name and then similar way uh, we can have display name that let's put the display name and then we can have build solution and let's go for another one where we had in our section where we were copying that code a static code for infra as a code so i'm going to have that same copy command and i can have that copy command i can go ahead and say that for which source we want to copy and what details so source folder it was infra as a code so i'm going to put that and then what is that target folder i can use the target folder and then i'm going to add that one and let's put the display name for this display name i can have that copy files and then last one we have that and this if you see lot of different things we will see that hey what condition this step should be running and what will happen if it is going to fail or pass do you want to skip that one do you want to build build the build another thing that lot of different things we can say that it can happen so let's have that publish artifact we were having that and this was that command and let's have that name it is this is the steps which we have into build section of classic pipeline which we did in the earlier demo and similar things we have built using yml so we can go ahead and change the naming convention for this one let's have that soft with yml demo dot yml right dot yml and we can save and run and let's see that so when we save that one it is asking that one do we want to create a new branch and commit or we want to directly check in inside this user branch so my code is inside this user branch so i'm going to save and run that so now we can see that this is the pipeline has been created and then we can go and see that hey what is happening with this pipeline Till the time it is running let's go to repo section where we can see that this is the rep file is generated and saved into our user branch now it is not from ui so we can have all the goodness it is that ci as a code and when we will add deployment part also then ci cd as a code where which we can have review we can change and we can have all the policy related to code so that is goodness part comes with yml and yml using yml we can have very complex pipeline created very easily uh, instead of ui and other things so that is good part so now if you see that now all the jobs steps has been task has been completed and we can see that going by a publish section and let's see in drop our infra code is also coming gp is also coming 
now we know that our build is completed using uh, yml in next video we are going to update this uh, yml pipeline with release stages so let's see that one i hope you will like this series and video thank you mm -hmm.